Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making our very own Ice Age Park. These prehistoric beasts need a home. The woolly mammoth, the coelodontar, and the saber-toothed cat. But this park needs a name. Comment your ideas down below. We're going to be building this park over the next few weeks. And today, we're going to start with the main entrance. So, let us begin. As you can see, I have chosen a well-suited map here, the perfect environment for a woolly mammoth. We've chosen a map in Spain, because Spain is very well known for being exceptionally cold. Um, <laughs> no, the reason I have chosen Spain is because there are no snow maps in Prehistoric Kingdom yet. Um, I was going to go with England, a map in England at first, but I just thought the map was a little bit too flat and it just had fields in it. And when I think of mammoths, I think of them walking with you know, huge mountains, snowy mountains behind them. And this is the only map where I could really, you know, that really has big mountains in the background. So uh, it was either that or desert, and I'm definitely not going to go for desert. So I thought, you know what, we'll go for this Spain map. And what I'm going to try and do is just uh, try and blend in the snow with the grass a bit, you know, make patches of snow and patches of uh, forest areas and just try and make it kind of flow so and get rid of all those tropical trees as well um, so yeah that's the reason we've chosen uh, a Spain map and this is going to be the main entrance so let, let's just uh, set the scene here so I want you to imagine that this is an island um, where we're building and on this island it could be somewhere near Greenland or Iceland, maybe off the coast of Norway somewhere, somewhere cold, you know, somewhere where mammoths and these Ice Age creatures will feel at home. And imagine that you, you could fly in to an airport here or possibly even get a cruise. A cruise passing by could stop off here and guests could get off at the dock or at the airport, you know, whichever way you've come in and then they'd be picked up from the airport or the docks by a coach and this coach drives them up to the main entrance here so that first bit I was building uh, where you see I put those lines in um, where the coaches can park the coach will drop you off, get off and then you can go into the main entrance and I want to make sure that this entrance is truly epic because you're about to walk into a park here that has mammoths in. So we've got to make sure that we get the guests hyped up, excited and ready for these ancient creatures that have been extinct for thousands of years. So, you know, I want to get them, you know, hyped up. So we put a nice mammoth skull on this stone archway here, uh, some torches on fire uh, at either side, and what I'll do as well is I, I'm going to give them on either side here, you can see where they're going to queue here. I want to have uh, some things for them to look at because I don't want them to get bored while they're queuing. So we're going to give them some things to look at. Uh, we'll get on to that in a moment. But first, I would like to thank Luca. Thank you very much for your comment, Luca, uh, suggesting that we make an actual whole build of a park um, uh, and showing the build through episodes. Uh, I thought that was a fantastic idea, so thank you very much for that. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna build this park through episode by episode. And uh, today we're just gonna build the entrance. And tomorrow we're gonna make our first habitat build. And we've got a few ideas written down for different um, entertainment ideas and uh, you know things for the guests to do. 
So yes, we'll be just making those as we go. And I'd also like to give a big thank you to Wasted uh, for his comment, or should I say comments, um, asking for this build. He's been asking for a very long time for this to be made. Uh, he's really wanted to see uh, a Mammoth and Celadonta enclosure made, so that will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, we're building the entrance today. It will be coming out. Thank you very much for your patience, uh, Wasted. Uh, but don't worry, it will be coming out tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy that very much. So you can see there, I've put all the um, posts in for where the guests are going to queue. And later on, I thought, do you know what? I've thought about them all queuing up to go in, but what about coming out? You don't want to have to walk through all that to get out. And plus, if there's people queuing to come in and you're coming out, um, then you're going to be walking through all those people. So then later on, I had to go back and change all that. Uh, we had to add strips where the people coming out can just walk straight out. And uh, that's where I changed it all from wooden posts to uh, metal railings instead. I just thought it looked a lot better. So over here at the side, we're just going to put in a cave. Um, a cave where uh, Neanderthals or maybe humans, Homo sapiens, could be living. You can see I'm putting some pots and stuff outside and some baskets. Uh, just for something for the guests to look at on that side and on this side I want to make some Ice Age huts um, A little camp where humans could be living early humans a nice little thatch roof um, Something again for the guests to just look at while they're waiting in the queue Hopefully they won't be waiting long because we'll have you know a good system in place where we can get people in fast You, you know you scan your ticket in you go you know, nice fa fast system, but while you're queuing, I want them to have something to look at just to keep them entertained. So here they can have a little look at, uh, you know, some early uh, houses that were built back in the, uh, you know, the Ice Age times. Uh, so we're going to just put these lovely little houses here with the thatch roofs, which I think look very nice. Um, and then we're going to have them open. Uh, and we'll just put in some a few more pots and stuff around here have a little fire in the middle as well uh, to make it look a bit more lived in so there you go and what we'll do as well is we'll have some TVs um, in this section so that that TV will be giving information and there'll be a little video on it so that can keep the guests a bit more entertained while they're waiting and uh, you know get them ready to go into this Ice Age park, you know, get them excited. And you can see that I've just put some bones on the doorway. I was looking at what um, early humans used uh, for building materials, and they did actually use the, the bones of the, the animals that they'd been hunting. So they were very resourceful. They didn't waste anything. Um, and there you can see I'm putting some logs and some chopped, chopped up logs. Oh, some logs there, some firewood. Um, and uh, those logs there just for si sitting on and then I'm going to put this nice little tripod in, in the center here and that's where they can attach something on there some meat or something to you know smoke over the fire or cook something um, and then we're just trying to decide what to put down here I want to put snow but I want it to look like it's been trodden on by people so we'll just put that forest terrain down for now and then we'll go over with a little bit of light sprinkling of snow. Oh, and here you can see we are building the fire. Uh, some nice logs there and some twigs and branches. And now we'll add in the fire. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. And a bit of smoke and some smoke coming out of the chair. Oh, goodness me. Don't set fire to the roof. Um, yeah, we'll have some smoke coming out of the chimneys because they would have had fires inside of these uh, houses as well to keep them warm while they slept. Oh, and here I'm just putting in these sticks attached together. This is uh, something that they would have used to stretch animal skin and they could use it for clothing, bedding, even to make things like shoes out of, you know, the leather of the skin. 
um, and we'll just blend in the background there with some nice trees a nice forest backdrop and put all that terrain over there and then we'll put a light sprinkle of snow beautiful lovely so yeah they've got plenty to look at there while they're queuing they've got the huts on that side and they've got the cave on the other side um, just to show you know there's a variety there were people that were living in caves you know but they're also they would uh, started to build their own uh, houses at this time as well and here I'm just gonna put a banner above the main entrance and this is where we're gonna have the name of the park but I can't decide yet what to call it so if you've got any ideas please do uh, let me know down below in the comments what you think this park should be called um, I'm thinking something wildlife reserve or national park because I don't want this to be a zoo really um, I want this to be like a, a wildlife reserve you know we've this whole island is just for the animals that we're gonna release on here so you know we're releasing uh, mammoths uh, woolly rhino and the saber-tooth cats as well uh, oh, I'm just gonna put two mammoths on either side here because I think that looks really cool and in the middle we'll have the name so yeah it's gonna be um, you know it, it, what would be great is if we had a few more animals to put in uh, you know from this game some giant uh, buffalo uh, maybe some uh, cave bears um, Oh, you can see I'm just putting in the TVs there now for the guests to uh, watch it as they're queuing up and get some information about our ancestors and we're going to put some above each one of the arches there um, yeah so they can you know keep them entertained while they're waiting uh, but yeah I think um, a few more animals from uh, a few more mammals in this game would, would work a treat because we've only got three at the moment uh, we've got a lot of dinosaurs but it would be good to see some more mammals put into this game and here we're just going to put in a toilet stop well not really a toilet stop just a um just some toilets because if you're queuing and you need to go to the toilet you don't want to have to wait to get in the park to actually go so uh we're putting some toilets in here just in case anybody needs to go and some benches uh, if you're waiting for someone some bins and yeah do you know what i've just thought i should really put in some vending machines just in case anyone's hungry while they're waiting um i might have to add them next time uh and here we're having uh, a nice a nice uh, epic some epic statues as you walk in of these three lovely mammoths all doing different poses and we're just going to have them as you walk in to really set the tone of the park you know this is what you're here to see these great megafauna of the ice age so we're going to put some um, railings around the side here and I imagine this is where a lot of guests would want to get a photo you know of these um, these statues behind them come and get a selfie or take a picture with the family and that looks rather nice. We've we'll got a few redwood trees with them as well. Lovely stuff. Beautiful. Oh, and a donation box just as you go out. Get some donations from the guests. And we'll put in a few more plants here as well. It's hard to choose what plant here. I'm going for these ones. Uh, just because I know that mammoths ate a lot of grasses. And these type of reeds here, they look like, uh, you know closest thing I can get to grasses on here we've not got the grass uh, biome yet so yeah uh, for now we'll just have to use these reeds uh, and here we're going to put in some benches for the guests to sit and wait um, for their bus to come and pick them up and I deleted all those white lines I put in before um, I didn't realize it was <laughs> I forgot that it was still attached to that group so when I deleted the power plant uh, it deleted all the white lines I was like, oh no I thought where have they gone I'm sure I put them in where they gone um, I was just putting in the benches there to get an idea of how wide a bus would be just to give me an idea and now I'm just putting all those in trying to make them look neat 
and this here is just a piece of wood uh, to just that I'm going to put in on each one, a bit of a little barrier just so the bus doesn't go, you know, roll into the um, into the pavement where the guests are waiting. Um, so yeah, we've got all the bus parking spots there. Ah, there's the water that we're putting in. So that's like a bit of a stop on the on the wheels so that the bus doesn't go rolling into the guests that are just waiting over there. Um, so yeah, what I'm thinking is on one side of this uh, bus station we'll have picking up to take you to the docks and the other side will be taking you to the airport. So it's de made dead simple so you're not wondering where your bus uh, will be you know you can just wait there this side's taking you to the airport this side's taking you to um the docks to where your cruise ship may be waiting so here i'm just gonna put this white line to try and corner it all off and make it look nice and neat there we go lovely stuff so i rather like that uh, i think that's quite nice a nice concept you get dropped off by the bus and then you can go into the park and go and see some Ice Age creatures. And we'll just corner all that off with these railings. And that's starting to look nice and neat now. I like the way that looks. And put in a few bushes just to make the forest look a bit thicker. Um, looks a little bit you know, barren in there. We need a few more plants. So... Yeah, that's coming on nicely. Lovely, jubbly. So, yeah, as I was saying, I'm thinking this is going to be more of a wildlife reserve. Something like, uh, you know, a, a national park, like uh, Yellowstone, something like that. Um, so I'm thinking something where the guests can come along and go on a wildlife safari and, you know, actually see the animals as they would have been. Uh, so I'm thinking of making like an ecosystem and that's why it's got to be so big and because it's going to be so big the guests won't actually go up to an exhibit and just see the animals in a you know a smallish enclosure they'll get to go out into an actual vast opening of land and they'll go around on a big jeep and get to see these huge megafauna as they would have been in the wild um, so yeah, we're going to have mammoths, we're going to have uh, woolly rhino, and then we're going to have some saber-toothed cats, some predators to, you know, keep the numbers in check. Oh, and as you can see, I've just replaced all those wooden posts with these metal railings. I think they look a lot better. And now there is a clear area where the guests that are leaving, they can come out of those strips, and the guests that are coming in can go into the queuing area so it's a lot more easier uh, and a lot more simple to understand so there's not guests you know barging for each other to try and get in and out so now we're just going to do the cave here and we don't have to really care about what it looks like inside because guests aren't going in it it's only for show on the outside so we've just got to make make it look like give the illusion that the cave goes in and uh, what I want to do here is I want to put some uh, fire inside as well to give a nice glowing effect. So as you walk past, you'll see, you know, it looks like someone's in there. Um, and we'll put that just around the corner there so it glows. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. That looks very good. But I do want to have um, a section where the guests can actually go into caves. I'll put some mammoth tusks there. Um, and uh, this is actually a raptor claw, but I'm just trying to squash it and make it look like it's a, a rhino horn. Um, but yeah, I do want to have sections where the guests can actually go through caves and also uh, go up to um, village, you know, a little village area um, and actually go into um, huts to really, you know, immerse them in that, what it was like, you know, for the ancestors. And here we're just going to put in some bus timetables. So as you're leaving the park, you can come up to these boards and check what time your bus will be arriving. And we'll also put in some lampposts 
just to give a bit of light when it gets to the evening time and the sun goes down. I imagine this park could be open quite late, uh, so you could have nighttime safaris or evening safaris and see what the animals get up to at that late hour. It'd be quite interesting to see how their behavior changes. In fact, you might get some animals becoming more active like the saber-toothed cats. Imagine that you're on a, a safari through the tundra and you see the glowing eyes of a pack of saber-toothed cats, or should I say a pride of saber-toothed cats. Uh, yes, that would be quite a sight to see. Um, you can see there putting some rocks around the fire and some toilets on the other side of the uh, entrance just because if you do queue up all that way and then you get in you go oh I need the toilet we don't want you having to walk all the way back um, and then queuing up to get back in so um, yeah we'll put some toilets there and then I put these two uh, animal shelters in and what I want to do with that is actually make them into shops I'm just gonna build in some walls and things and some decorations to make them look more like a shop. And a nice cafe there on the right. And here we go, some lights um, that can shine up on those lovely statues of the mammoth there. Oh, and here you can see I've just deleted um, that shop and just took this one section of the shop that I wanted, this little gift stall uh, that can go outside and I'm getting rid of all the T-Rex skulls and T-Rex little statues and replacing them with mammoth skulls and mammoth statues. So these little uh, mammoth statues, you could imagine, you know, because they're tiny now, uh, they're little mammoth toys, little mammoth figures uh, that the children will probably want to take as a souvenir and uh, maybe make their own little park at home with toys. Uh, and then you can just copy and paste it, which is great. Put another stall over there. And now we'll put in the walls um, for the shop. And I'm gonna have this shop uh, closed, so I'm not gonna build the actual inside. I'm just gonna make it look like you can go into the shop. Um, and we'll have a little entrance here with the door frames. Choose a nice fancy door lovely and there we are very nice so yeah you've you've got um, you've got food as you come in you've got toilets and you've got a souvenir shop so we've got plenty of stuff for you to see when you come in and then uh, opposite those statues behind them I'm going to have a big viewing area this is where the guests are going to be standing in awe as they look across a vast valley, forest, mountains, we're gonna have a big lake as well, and they'll see a herd of mammoths just walking around in the national park. So I want this to be a really grand opening, you know, so we've got the grand entrance and then I want them to see this big area of the park. Um, they'll be able to go into little areas later on on their safari and cross across rivers and, you know, uh, drive through forests and stuff like that. But this area, I want a big, vast, open area. Um, something that's gonna really, you know, get them like, oh my God, wow, this is amazing. Like, I can't wait to go and explore this park. Um, so you'll be able to see the mammoths from a distance. They probably won't be very close, but just the, the landscape itself is going to speak, you know. Um, I, want, I want something, you know, when you go to a zoo and you have the first enclosure, you know, you want something that's going to really, you know, make you go, wow, this is incredible. I want that wow factor that you get from uh, Jurassic Park when they go to the uh, Brachiosaurus enclosure. You know, when they first see that, uh, they see the Brachiosaurus the walking in the lake and, you know, there's forests behind them and the mountains on the island. It just looks so beautiful. So I want something like that, but for uh, an Ice Age theme. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have that in the next build. Um, that will be the next section that we add on to this park. And we're just making that shop look nice and neat now, trying to make sure that nothing's um, crossing through each other. 
and that is starting to look rather nice. I like the way it's looking. And it's always a good place to put a shop at the big, uh, at the entrance and the exit of a park because when people are leaving, they're, you know, going home, they might just think, oh, do you know what? I'll just go in the shop just to get a souvenir. Uh, whereas if there's a shop further on, if they come to the end, they're going to think, oh, do you know what? We'll just go. I can't be bothered walking all the way back to that shop. So having the shop at the exit and the entrance is a good decision. Uh, and here we're just going to put in these little, um, I don't know what you'd call them really, just an area where there's going to be some rocks and trees, uh, just so it's not all pavement, you know, it looked a bit bland when I put the paths in uh, before, it was just open, empty space, I thought it needs something there. Uh, so this, you know, will immerse the guests in the, in nature, make them feel like, you know, it's not just all pavement and you know paths uh, they can walk through these and then behind those on that other path there we're gonna have the a big viewpoint we'll put some benches in for them to have a little rest if they're waiting for someone that's in the shop and some bins as well we want to keep everywhere tidy oh and here is the lovely job of putting the roof on uh, the the shop so we just need to make it all thatched and all seams and suits the same uh, kind of um, you know it looks like one big shop we don't want one with uh, tarp roofing and the other one's got a uh, thatch roof so we've just got to make all this fit and uh, make sure it looks nice and neat so i think for our entrance that pretty much covers everything we've got a shop we've got toilets we've got a cafe um, we've got the area where you come in and give your tickets in we've got a queuing area we've got things to keep the guests entertained while they're queuing uh, we have transport to get them here um, I think we've pretty much covered everything really if you can think of anything else anything else we could add just to the entrance or you know in in a um, in the park in general, in the future builds, uh, do let us know in the comments. The only thing I can think of looking back at this now is just putting some vending machines um, in the bit where the air, where the guests are queuing, just in case they get a bit hungry. Um, I think we could put some vending machines in there for them. So I'll add them in next time, I think. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else to put in. Um, in this entrance bit so all we've got to do is finish off this roof and then tomorrow we can get on with the business of making that first habitat the big mammoth valley um, so yeah we will be doing that tomorrow and if you're not watching this video as it's coming out uh, I'll leave a link at the end of the video where you can see the next part of the park being built there and we just put some lovely flowers in here to brighten up the place a little bit so there you have it guys the build is complete we have our main entrance all that's left to do now is build the entire park <laughs> uh, so thank you very much for watching guys let us know your ideas down below and also an idea for a name Thank you very much, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.